Hey guys, it's Tally here, my first makeup video on YouTube. So excited. So as you can see, I just put on a headband just to keep my hair away from my makeup. And then I'm starting off with a NYX base um, filling for eyebrows. And I'm starting in the back because that's where all you want to start because you want to get nice and dark in the back. And then you want to lighten it up in the front. So I'm just going to do that. I'm going to do the same thing for the next one. I'm just going to line up the edges of my brows where I can get the shape that I want and then put it darker towards the end. So as you can see, I'm finished. Now I'm going to take my, I got this from Sally Beach Supply Store and it's a brow brush with a pencil and I'm just going to be just brushing it in. So I'm taking my banana powder and I'm going to set my brows. I know people don't set their brows, but I like to set my brows. Um, I'm using my other thing I'm using is a cover-up for pimples and yeah um, I'm using my hydration serum from milk it's so good it makes my face nice and dewy and just nice and shiny and everything next I'm also using my Rimmel and Born This Way foundation those two combinations and, and they're just very like it makes it nice and silky and it just looks nice yeah so I'm adding the Born This Way first, that's the lighter shade. And then I'm taking my Rimmel and I'm going to add it in between each of my Born This Way foundation lines I did. <clears throat> so as I'm applying it, I'm just making it nice and even for it won't be like too much light, too much dark. So it'll just be the perfect amount. Next, I take my big fluffy brush. I love this brush so much. It's the best for a foundation. People normally like to use smaller or smaller brushes or sponges for a foundation, but my favorite is the big brush. My dad got me this from Costco. It came in like a little set of six brushes, and I love them so much. And it blends super well. Okay, I'm now going to set my face with my banana powder and just a smaller brush where I can make a good line and all that stuff. Okay, I'm taking my Anastasia bronzer. So I kind of used too much today, so I'm going to have to make it look like contour. So I'm just blending it out like I would do for contour. And now I'm going to take my no filter concealer from ColourPop. Oops, I just dropped it. <laughs> So yeah, I'm gonna make little triangles underneath my eyes just to create like, just to just to get the most not just to get the right amount for underneath my eyes. Sorry, the washing machine is on. So in the background here is my washing machine. Okay, after blending it in, you just wanna get all. Of all of it just all of it <laughs> okay so next I'm taking my Sephora blush I love this blush I normally don't like darker colors for blush so I got a nice light pink and if I want to add more it will get a little bit darker but I wanted a more subtle look more fall subtle look so I put it on my nose where I can get a little pink nose and now I'm applying foundation to my eyelids for it can just like have a nice um, brown tone to it and also because I do have morphine um, set for uh, eyelids for my eyeshadow but I like foundation way better so that's what I'm using and now I'm going to use my favorite brush I got from TJ Maxx and then I'm also going to use my Too Faced palette chocolate palette and I'm just going to use like a nice cream color just to create a base because I'm going to be using some bright colors today some bright and dark colors for my fall look today I'm going to start blending that in just a little, just a little, 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 little. And also the next one, of course. You don't want to add too much because it'll look cakey and white. Next, I'm going to be using my James Charles Morphine Palette. I literally love this, but...
using the orange color. It's one of my favorites. I do use this often. And I'm just going to pat it around just to get a nice, simple, subtle look. And next I'm going to do the same thing to my next eyelid and just blend it everywhere. And then afterwards I'm going to get a darker red around my creases and upper side of my eyelids. And start blending that in. Okay, next I'm going to do a darker, darker brown for the eyelid. I don't know what to call it, but yeah, just to create like a smoky eye, but like not really, like a light smoky eye, yeah. <coughs> okay, I think I'm done, hopefully. <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> Oh yeah, so I'm going to apply some yellow just in between the two colors for it to just look a little bit more brighter in the middle for it to be like light to dark. So yeah. So next I'm going to use my Solar Flare from BH. I actually really love their cosmetics and stuff. They're really good pigmented and all that. And then I'm using my Neutrogena um, mascara and my curler and then my favorite highlighter from Revolution. I'm using the pink shade so pretty and I'm gonna put it just a little bit in between my eye sockets where I can just get a little glow and I'm using my NYX lip gloss I don't really like lipstick so I normally stick with lip gloss and this is just the perfect one for me and then I have my other pink lip gloss I'm using I forgot what brand it is so I'm supplying that and yeah I hope you guys enjoyed the video